In this video, we're going to show you how to void an item during a transaction on your CR260 cash register. In order to use the void option, you first need to assign this function to a key. You could read more about programming keyboard layout in your manual on page 31. So, in order for us to get started and to assign void to a key, we need to first press 4 then mode to enter system settings. Then scroll down to keyboard. Once in keyboard, press cache to define keyboard. Here, we can see multiple different functions that can be customized and assigned on the keyboard. But for void, we're going to scroll down to correct. Enter correct and then scroll down to void. Once you press enter in void, you will see a message to assign the function code void to a key. You can choose whichever key you desire, but for this example, we're going to assign it to the clerk key. Once assigned, we can exit and this will save automatically. Now, by going back into normal register mode by pressing one mode, we're going to perform a test transaction to try and void the last item. Let's ring up three items in our sample transaction. Now, to void, we can press the clerk key because we assigned it as so, and we will see a message to enter the quantity and the price of the item we want to get rid of. Say we want to void the last item entered, which was $2 in Department 2. We enter this amount and press cash to finalize. The screen will show the negative item and it will also reflect on the receipt as void. Thank you for watching and be sure to check out more of our helpful videos on this product.